Very excited to share three new weekly planner templates with you. So these are available in Adobe InDesign and they're available in Canva. So today I'm going to show you how to edit these in Adobe InDesign as well as Canva. So I will put links below for timestamps if you are a Canva girl and you're like, I just wanna jump ahead to that. Totally understand. And that's the whole point is that it can be easier. So we have three new templates. I'm gonna share my screen with you. All right, so the first one is, it just says, hello, beautiful. It's called the Tubular Weekly Vertical Layout. Um, and so I'm really excited because this has a really great design uh, behind the scenes for you. So if you go to pages, and if you don't see pages, just simply go over to window and make sure there's a check mark in front of pages. And then it'll bring out this flyout menu and see when I put my uh, cursor right over here, I can pull this down. This at the top is are the parent pages and below these are the actual pages of the document. So it works like this every day of the week pretty much looks the same. You have the month over here on the left, some sections for notes, you have um, tubular layouts, just like it's called, for each day of the week. In theory, this is morning, afternoon, and evening, and then just a space for a list or notes or something else. Um, and then you have all of the days of the week in hot pink, because it's one of my favorite colors. And then you have the actual weekend in a navy blue, royal blue, whatever you wanna call it, more of like a darker, richer blue. And that rinses and repeats every single week. The only thing that changes, obviously, are the dates. So here's how it works. If you want to make updates to this, it's so easy. So you got, jump up here to the top. You can tell which parent page is applied to which page inside of your document. So if I hover over this, I can see 1-January, has been applied to this page because it is the month of January. I know, big surprise. Um, over here, same thing. And then all of a sudden when we jump down to here, we go into February and we can see when we hover over this that 2-February has been applied. So what do these parent pages look like? When I jump up here, you're gonna see the exact same page. The only difference is that the numbers are missing because obviously as the weeks go on, the days go on, the numbers change. So. I have made it super easy. So you January, February, March, you just make the change once and then it applies for the whole month. Uh, same thing with February, you make the change once, it applies for the whole month. So let's say hot pink is just not your color. You can highlight this whole section and you can change this to say maybe yellow is your, your jam. And then same thing over here yellow is like the color that you really want for this whole thing or maybe for this one you want to do more of a rainbow kind of color and you want this one to be blue you want this one to be green <laughs> you want this one to stay pink and you want this one over here to be do i have any more colors maybe a like a medium blue is that right oh whoops over here a medium blue there we go so now you have all these different colors and when i jump into february over here i can see that it is now changed on every single page and i don't have to worry about that obviously i didn't do the stroke line but um you can go ahead and make all of those changes on the fly now the other thing too is if you don't like the fonts that i've used for the days of the week you can change those as well and you could just make one big change all the way across the top and you could go here to that type tool and we could change it to whatever font you like so maybe playfair display is more your thing or you want a fun scripty font uh like moon time or something like that so it makes it really easy for you to make all these changes in one foul swoop that will then apply to each of those pages. So let me know if you have any questions, but that's how this document was set up. It's weekly, it goes all the way. I think we got lucky this year. Um, the 31st is, yeah, it's on a Sunday. So it ends perfectly right there at the end of that week. Um, template number two. So over here, we have the hexagon hourly. So the title of this is just Hello Gorgeous. Obviously, you can change these titles to anything you want. It's called the weekly hourly planner. And same thing over here. So when you jump up to the master, uh, master pages, parent pages, master pages, they're the same thing. The new word is parent pages. This is obviously is an old file that I updated. Um, so over here, you can see that everything is the same. The 6 a.m. doesn't change from week to, to week or day to day. 
all of the days of the week, the weekdays are in hot pink and the weekends are in blue again. And then here we have a little symbol. So this one's a little different. Instead of having one for each month, I just had one for the whole planner. So if we jump inside of here, you can see that you do have to put the March 2023 for each one. Um, so we have the all of the days laid out right here for you. So same thing again, if we jump up here to that parent page, if there's anything I wanna change, um, let's say hot pink isn't my color, the yellow is the color again that I really love, um, I can change all of this to yellow. The other thing too is you can actually change all of the text as well. I don't know if yellow is going to show up very well, so let's try blue, there we go, blue, and then, so each of these are their own line. So you will have to do these individually. You can change this to green. Oh, I forgot, we should, we did all different colors for each column in the last one. So you could do different colors for each column on this one as well. Um, so you can just keep going through. And then when I jump into my actual days, I should be able to see that the changes are all there. So that change did not happen on that first page. The reason the changes didn't happen on the first page is because this says December 2022. So that's the only one that's different. Um, the rest of them though all use that master page. And you can tell that this one doesn't have the master page applied because it says when you hover over it, it says none applied. Whereas this says a master applied. So that is template number two. Template number three is a horizontal. So this one just says, hello, pretty on the front. And then if we jump inside, we can see that it is a horizontal layout, but again, it matches the rest of the set. So it's kind of like a collection. Um, and same thing over here, you have the January master, the February, the March, the April, etc. So same thing over here, I can select this tool and I can change all of these colors to whatever I want them to be. Um, Maybe yellow is a little strong. So this one did change, let me back up. So this one, you will have to ungroup this one. And then you'll have to change each of these items individually. So this one here at the top, whoops, did not mean to do that. This one here at the top, you can change this to yellow and you can change the outline to that blue so you can actually see it. And then over here, this is a box all by itself here in the middle. So this middle box, you could change this to blue. Um, and then this these lines are text as well. So you can change all of these lines over here to yellow or to a blue. And hold on, let me just move this. Okay, so this right here sits on top of those lines. So the lines inside of here, let me just go ahead and zoom in. All right, so these lines right here are part of a style. So if we go over to window and we go to styles and we go to paragraph styles, you're gonna see that these are the dotted lines called pink. So if we double click this over here, this paragraph style, and we go over to basic paragraph formats, paragraph rules, we can see that it is pink. And then here we can change it to blue and we can say, okay. And now all of those dotted lines are blue. This over here to the right is a separate box as well. So you'd have to change this to blue too, or to yellow or whatever color you want. And now you can take that Monday and move it back here to the top. And obviously you'd probably not want to use hot pink. You'd probably want to use blue or yellow. And we could change this to a blue. There we go. And now when we go into April, so let's jump into the month of April. So we can see over here, everything is blue and yellow for each day of the week or each weekly spread of April. So that's how you change all of your pages, the fast and easy way. Obviously the numbers had to be manually typed for each page, because again, it's a dated planner, it's kind of the challenge, um, but I've tried to make it as easy as possible for you to make changes very quickly. And also this one's by the month in case you wanted to take changes by the month. I guess for this one, I was like, I guess we'll just have one master page for the whole thing. So let me know if you have any questions, but that is how you do the Adobe InDesign files for all of these. And let's jump into, and just so you know, all of these do have a matching digital planner for InDesign. Only two of them were able to have a matching planner for, um, 
for, what am I trying to say, for Canva. Just because it has so much data, sometimes it just wouldn't save it. So let's jump into Canva. All right, so to use the Canva piece, what you're going to do is you are going to open up Thrivecart Learn. So to get to Thrivecart, it's just lisaseifert.thrivecart.com slash L. I believe that's it. Any of the courses that you've ever registered for, even the free ones, all roads lead back to Rome. They're all in this one dashboard. It would be nice if they had one single URL for everything, but they don't yet, but fingers crossed things improve. Um, all right, so what you're gonna do is you're going to look for popular layouts. Um, so we're gonna drop down here and we're gonna keep looking <laughs> and we're gonna keep looking. I guess I could just use the word, whoops. Uh, control F to do popular. There we go. So here are the popular layouts. Oh, those are the digital ones. Let's see. Popular. There it is. Popular layouts pack. So all three of these are in one pack together. So you're going to jump inside of here. So you're going to see just what I showed you. Here are the tubular V vertical, here is the hourly weekly, and here's the weekly horizontal. So don't freak out, because sometimes I like, I just scroll down, I'm like, where are the Canva links? The Canva links are over here in their own section called Canva file. So if we go into editable Canva link, um, we're gonna see all three of these just one next after the other. So if we jump over to Tubular, we're gonna be able to see this whole diagram over here. And if we go ahead and say use template, it's gonna bring this up for us in Canva. Um, and then, so the way this works, it's genius actually, this is an SVG. So what that means is when I select just one of these, I can hit this hot pink thing over here and I can change this to blue, or I can change it to purple or orange or yellow, all in one second. So I don't have to worry about changing each individual little one, it changes them all at one time. Same thing over here, we could make this we say a rainbowish one so we could add green so this is a little different canva doesn't have a two page like layout view so you do have to look at each page single at a time uh, but you can just keep going through and making all of these changes that you want to your document so little different there are no parent pages in here so instead you will if you want to change the like i guess look and feel of every monday to be yellow you will have to go through this document find every monday change it to yellow monday change it to yellow, and then go through Monday, change it to yellow. But that's just Canva. However, for most of you, I believe this is just an easier tool for you to use. Um, you can change this if you, I don't know what you'd wanna say instead of January, but <laughs> maybe you wanna write the whole thing out and you wanna just make it really small so you can see the whole word, cause that's how you like it. Um, and obviously you can change the fonts and the colors and everything else. These do use premium fonts um, and I did upload them, but don't worry if you have a free version of Canva, it still works just fine. Sorry, I have two cameras here. I'm always looking at the wrong one. So um, that's gonna be super easy for you to use any of these premium fonts in this file without having to purchase them or upgrade to Canva Pro. So that is the second one. And then over here we have the hourly and we're gonna say use template. All right, so for this one, oh, same thing here on the cover, you can change the words. Um, these were, these designs, and not even in Adobe InDesign can you change these. Um, so these are really just something I made inside of, I think Illustrator. So uh, they just can't be edited. Um, how they are, they're just, they're images that I uploaded onto this file. Um, so over here, you can change this to be a different color. Uh, so if we want this to be, actually, I don't think you can, I lie, <laughs> I lie. I had to upload this file like three or four times because I kept running into that issue saying there was too much data. So I think the way this file is, you're, gonna, you're like kind of stuck with the hot pink. Um, and I don't wanna say stuck, you get to use the hot pink in Canva. Um, and you'll notice it looks slightly different with the numbers than it does in the InDesign file where the lines can go all the way across. And again, that's only because uh, inside of Canva, I was running out of data. And because I was running out of data, 
I had to make some changes to the design so that it would fit inside of here. So um, here you can see, you can make changes though to the font colors uh, inside of here. And you can make changes to these colors whoops, um, inside of here. You just can't change the color of this larger image here on the outside. So that's all there is. That's the only thing that's different about this file. Um, and let's jump over to the third file, which is the, hor the weekly horizontal. And the weekly horizontal, I don't know, I think you can edit this one. I don't remember how much space I, I was running into lots of space issues with um with canva but you know that's just that's okay it's their software okay so over here um you can change the colors yay <laughs> um and then you can change the colors of all of these lines over here as well and then you can change the color of the outline of this box whoops um over here to blue. So now everything is blue. If you wanted to make it blue, you don't have to make it blue. Um, it is really up to you. All right. So that is it for all the files. Canva is so much easier to explain. I don't even know if I have to explain it, but um, yeah. So if you don't like this element too, you can just delete it. You can pick one of the elements or whatever backgrounds or something that they have inside Canva, and you could use that instead for your design. I keep looking at the wrong camera. All right, so that is a wrap for everything that is inside of the new weekly layouts. And yes, that is in addition to all of the other weekly layouts that you have. So you have three different weekly layouts inside of there, as well as if I look up weeklies, um, we have the weekly digital planner templates, and there are five different files inside of here as well. So lots of different weekly templates for you to choose from and start editing and using as your own. All right, very excited to see what you all create with this. I hope everyone's having a wonderful and fabulous day and all of these files are waiting inside of Thrivecart for you and the Canva links are inside waiting for you as well. All right, bye.